in 10 years to demolish and destroy her beautiful piano. He was a big piano terminator. <laughs> in concert, he will break the pianos in front of the public. The strings will fly to the audience. The hammers will get entangled between the string and stop working. People thought that he was really mad. Every day he will wake up, take a bowl of cold water and splash it in his head, and all wet like that he will start composing. The British liked more power in the sound. They didn't like much of the Viennese piano. So he introduced many reforms in the piano. John Bradwood was adding iron bars to the structure so he could pull the strings at a higher tension and the sound expands immediately. By the 20s, 1820s, he was completely deaf. And frankly, he didn't care what piano he had. We are getting into his last period in which his music is not only romantic, it's basically metaphysical. And he had in his mind this mix of both types of pianos, one that could play very delicately, like the Viennese piano, and another one that will have this huge, more powerful sound, like the piano we just heard made by Broadwood. More than ever, compose for a piano that did not exist only in his head. Thanks to the fact that he was the leading composer of his time and everybody wanted to please him and that everybody knew that that was the direction of music. They tried to make the piano better and better. Four giants of the Romantic period came to life a few months apart. Mendelssohn, Schumann, Chopin, Liszt, they will bring the romantic period to a climax and their music was very virtuosistic but full of passion and full of delicate touches and ambiances and this man Sebastian Erard is the one that was capable of combining the virtues of both pianos. <laughs>